we're going to be talking about another gig you guys can sell on Fiverr and that's in very high demand. And this is video testimonials or video reviews. Now, you may be worried worry about this and uh, are thinking to yourself, well, I'm not going to do this. I'm not confident enough. And you should definitely consider it. Um, it's very easy. You just have to get used to talking into the camera and you'll see that you can easily do it. It's not as hard as it seems. You don't have to be an actor or anything like that or even have any acting experience because at the end of the day, they want someone who looks genuine and authentic, not someone who's reading off a script. So um, the first thing that might come to your mind is, isn't this saturated? Uh, there's so many people doing this already and the people who are doing it really well, they're already featured and they're already top, top rated sellers on Fiverr. Um, that's simply not the case. Uh, most, more often than not, the buyers now, they want fresh faces. Um, these users on Fiverr, these sellers, they're saturated. They've been around the internet quite a bit. Um, they've been used on various websites already. So a lot of buyers are actually looking for fresh faces, people who are different, who are not well known, and that will actually help you in the beginning ramp up and make a lot of sales. And if you need help getting to level one or level two, this is a great way to start. Um, the second thing is you don't have to be a model or extremely good looking to do this. Um, actually, the more average looking you, you think you are, probably the better it is. Um, more, most buyers want someone who's average looking, who's not a model. That way it makes their testimonials and reviews more believable. Another thing to consider is that if you do this, you have a high, high chance of being featured or even becoming a top rated seller. Um, Fiverr loves this stuff. They eat it up. So if you want to be featured on the front page of Fiverr, do a video testimonial gig, especially if it's something very different or you have, you have a feature in it that's very different, like a green screen or the way you dress. Anything you can do to, se to separate yourself or differentiate yourself. Another thing that people think is they need a, a really good camera to do this. And that's really not the case. You can just get an average camera for 100 bucks from some, some place like Best Buy. As long as it has HD, preferably has HD, you can do this no problem. And the last misconception when it comes to doing video testimonials on Fiverr is you have to know how to use video editing, editing software. And that's not true either. Um, you can use Windows Movie Maker or even something like Camtasia, which is very easy to use. That's what I'm using right now. And um, it's very easy to use, guys. It's very easy to do and very easy to use. So uh, I recommend you guys to try it out, especially if you're new to Fiverr. It's a great way to get started. It's a great way to uh, boost yourself and hopefully get those initial rush of sales and m move yourself up the levels and even get featured on the front page, hopefully. So that's it for this section, guys. We're going to be going to the next section and talking about gig titles, descriptions, keywords, all that good stuff and optimizing your gig for sales. Hey guys, welcome to the next part of this lecture. We're going to continue on talking about video testimonials and spokesperson gigs. But in this uh, portion of the lecture, we're going to be talking about how to create a gig and how to optimize it for sales. So the first thing is the gig title. This is going to vary. Okay, it's not, it's not as important as it is for other gigs. Buyers will find you. Buyers are looking for fresh faces in this gig. They are not going to always go to the highest rated sellers or to the top rated sellers because those sellers have been used hundreds, if not thousands of times, and they want someone uh, who's new, who will not be recognized as an actor. Um, if you offer some specialty or feature, like a green screen or computer in the background, you're gonna wanna include this in the title if you can fit it. But remember, you wanna keep it short and sweet. Um, also, include HD in the title if you offer it. This is very important. For the category, we're gonna put it in video and animation, testimonials and reviews by actors. For the gig photos, you're going to want to turn on live portfolio. The reason for this is every time you upload your work to the buyer, it's going to appear in your portfolio and potential buyers are going to see it and it's going to help convert whenever they view your gig. For the gig photo itself, you can just put a picture of yourself. It's not that important. The gig video here is what's going to be selling your gig. So it doesn't really matter what you upload uh, for your gig photo. Now, for the gig video, this is going to be the trailer for your for your gig. You're going to want to make it super high quality, okay? This is going to basically determine or tell the buyer what they're getting. So you're going to want to be enthusiastic. You're going to want to look and sound confident while having fun in front of the camera. Um, you're going to also want to keep it short and sweet. Remember to state that it's exclusive on Fiverr. And if you can, show off some of the features in your, in your uh, gig video. So put some background music. Put the green screen in the background. Um, switch in between outfits in your video. Um, it's very important. People are going to want to see your personality. So the gig video is very, very important here. 
for the gig description, you're gonna to want to state how many words you're gonna be offering, how many, how the length of the gig. So most gigs in this uh, category offer 50 words or 30 seconds for five bucks. In the very beginning, you can offer a little more starting out, and that will get you your initial rush of sales and reviews. Then you can bring it down to something more reasonable. Remember to state that a, a script for the video is required. Remember to state that you will take some liberties with the script to make it more believable or sound more natural. And state that you will offer one revision and only within reason. For the gig duration, I recommend doing three days in the very beginning. Um, as you start to get more and more orders, you're going to probably want to change it to seven to ten days um, because it will get too crazy if you have ten orders a day and you're only uh, allowing yourself to have three days to film and edit and upload these videos to your buyers. Here are some tags I recommend. Now, for the I only recommend four, but for the last one, you can include a feature, so green screen, HD, music, business. Um, if not, you can just include spokesperson, so that, that covers the other variation of, this, of the spelling for this word. Here's a sample of the instructions to buyers that I like to use. You guys can pause the video and copy it if you wish. And here are the gig extras I like to do. So the first one is the gig express gig extra. Complete a video in 24 hours and you can charge 20 bucks for it. Um, this is a great gig extra to include. A lot of buyers want their video testimonial immediately and they are, they are willing to pay for it. So you're gonna want to try and increase the average price of your gig by including that gig extra. You can also put gig extras that allow you to use a green screen, include background music, include a specific outfit, or some other feature. You can also create a gig extra that will um, your buyer can purchase to get their video in HD. And you can also include a gig extra that you will include a logo or a watermark over the video if you know how to do that or if you have the proper software to do that. And that's it for this lecture, guys. Thank you for your attention. I hope you learned a lot about video testimonial gigs. They are a great gig to sell on Fiverr. They are highly in demand. And I find that gig extras actually sell a lot for these kinds of gigs. So good luck with that, guys. Let's go on to the next lecture.